everybody. Welcome back. Hopefully by now you've had a chance to watch my son's Arizona elk hunt and my uh, hunt for Maximus. This is a sick of deer hunt from a uh, late muzzleloader season just a few weeks back. Uh, I was able to get a nice stag. Now there's not a whole lot of story with this hunt, so I, I will. I decided to share a little bit more of my season. I end up missing one of the biggest stags I've ever taken a shot at with my bow back in October. Oh, still eats at me, and it's probably the worst shot I've taken on an animal. I'll slow it down and show you. I'll be transparent. My buddies are still ribbing me for it, so might as well. That being said, I've uh, been on a little bit of a hot streak after my son's elk hunt. I shot Maximus. Did a drive this past Saturday just trying to push some deer to my buddies so they could fill their tags, and sure enough, uh, you know, biggest buck I have on trail camera on the farm pops out in front of me 20 yards, tries to run out the back door of the drive. I couldn't let him do that, so I had to shoot him. Uh, I have some footage of that. I, I'll probably put it together for another hunt. Uh, just a little too much going on. Anyway, hope you enjoy this hunt. Uh, let me know in the comments. Have a good one. It's time. I had fun bugling this guy into the base of my tree, but he was just a few years too young. Okay, this is where the action really starts. I had this small hind step out, and I was taking a look at her and thinking about shooting her. When I reached for my bow, I looked over to the right, and suddenly I saw a giant stag. This stag was no stranger to me. It's one we call Mr. Squiggles because of his backwards rack. I was even able to get a second shot off. I missed there as well. Here's both shots again in slow motion. As you can see, I shot over and behind the stag for the first shot. With the second shot, he really ducks the string. His butt almost hits the ground here. sick to my stomach. I had a hind come out and I was going to shoot her and I looked behind her and there's a giant stag right there and uh, I think I missed him twice. I, I, I can't believe it. I don't know. It just happened so quick. He was chasing her and she ran off and I thought he was going to follow her but no excuses. I, I missed him. Ah, it literally make, it makes me sick. It's a nice stag too. Afterwards, I decided to have some fun with the spike that came out. I don't think he was buying what I was selling. On this particular day, it was really cold with lots of ice in the swamp, and I figured the deer didn't want to move far. All right. <laughs> what a morning. I uh, I got down on the stand. I hear some heard some sickers breaking ice behind me. Um, wind wasn't what it's supposed to be, so they might have winded me. And I was I sat to about nine o'clock. I got down, and I knew with this swamp being frozen, the deer would be reluctant to walk on the ice. And I was walking over here to check a trail camera, and I jumped three hinds and a stag right here. And they took off, and the hinds took off across the field, but not the old stag. He he hooked around right on the field edge and uh, right by the swamp. I got a shot at him and he took off limping and you know muzzleloader I reloaded and he was gone by then so I, I followed in the direction he went and I figured you know I can hear him breaking ice if he gets back on the uh, marsh and I, and I did hear him and I climbed up in my stand real, qu real quick and I saw him and I shot him and I dropped him and uh, he was struggling so I put another one in him. I left my gun in the stand. I'm gonna go back this could be quite an ordeal getting this guy out. I'm going to go home, get some waiters, get someone to watch me because, uh, yeah, got to be careful with this one. We'll see. So it's too cold for the GoPro, but uh, I'll show you guys what I can on this camera. So I jumped them right in here, and they ran, and the hinds took off across the edge of the field, but the, not the stag. Again, he, he hooked around the edge of the woods, and I shot him. It's a pretty decent shot for a muzzleloader, about 125. And... I saw, I saw him limping after that, so I took off after him and uh, was 
able to get up in my stand in the swamp and I could hear him breaking ice and could finally see him back there. But uh, man, this is gonna be a heck of a drag out. If he ain't got up and run by now, he's definitely dead. <laughs> I don't know how well this comes through long distance on the sound, but there's a lot of grunting and groaning and ugh, and, ugh, and splash. His bark gets sucked into the mud the closer he gets to his dead stag. Now he's contemplating how he's getting in that hole that the stag died in without going over his head. So you want to be a sick of deer hunter. I'm knee deep right now. I'll probably be chest deep time I get over to him, but he's a nice one. Stag down. I don't want to jinx it, it's actually not near as bad as I've had it in here before. Whew. It's not, this, this actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Whew. Congrats! Thanks man, thanks. Thanks. He ain't a giant, but he ain't bad. I wasn't passing him up. Yeah, pick him up, see him. Light in the sun. Oh, bit like you're right. Cool. Nice day. Yep. Yeah. 